Just gone 20 minutes before five here on the Friday edition of today. My name is Cindy Mabi, standing in for Braden Moyane. Now, Gauteng's NASI Ispani job program drew over a million applications on Youth Day, and that's uh, roughly 8,000 jobs. And in other words, there were about 153 applications per job. And looking at it in more detail, you, uh, that means less than 1% of those who applied will get the job. And it's a stark reminder of the youth unemployment rate of over 70 percent. Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lisufi gives us an update now. Premier, good afternoon to you and thank you so much for joining us. Just a quick update and I think in terms of dealing with the uh, unintended consequences, of course there's desperate need for employment. Young people came out in their numbers. We then quickly saw on yeah. social media <clears throat> that some of the CVs were strewn around or not submitted for whatever reason. Do you think that that created a bit of a, a PR nightmare even before the program started? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Cindy, and thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, let, let me start by dismissing that. Uh, We've sent our teams to investigate that allegation. Uh, we really believe it was just pure jealous uh, from other uh, formations uh, who felt that they needed to discredit this campaign by claiming that there were CVs that were strewn and uh, not attended to. I can confirm uh, in terms of hard copies, we received 357,000 in terms of hard CVs. Um, from all the community meetings that we had and all the whole kids. So out of the 357,000, majority of them uh, are people that were queuing, and uh, we want to thank them uh, for that aspect. In terms of your second question, indeed, these figures are a stark reality of unemployment. Uh, we normally use statistics to say how many young people are unemployed. We've got 1.4 million people uh, that are unemployed that have interest in getting jobs in Houghton. But we have taken a decision that no one will be uh, sent back and no one who's going to get a regret letter. Uh, out of the 1.4 million people that have applied, we will indeed select the 8,000. In Houghton, we have a, a job recruitment program of recruiting 6,000 people every month until July 2024. What we will do, instead of recruiting every month, uh, we are going to at once uh, go and look for additional uh, 28,000 people uh, that we can uh, remove from the list. But we are also doing what we call job profiling. There are people that they need additional skills. Um, of the applications that we've received, uh, almost uh, around 63% uh, uh, is people that want to be cleaners, receptionists, uh, clerks. We really believe we need to provide the necessary skills. So we are going to skill them. We've got a 400 million Pazari uh, scheme, we intend to take those that must go and finish their degrees or finish their studies. We will fund them. Um, and we've assigned MEC Lebuhamayile to go to the CITAS. CITAS are the state uh, training institutions. Uh, we also want them to come and take a substantial number of people. And on the 27th, we are appointing 25,000. We're supposed to recruit 6,000. We've got a program on solar panel technicians. We're supposed to recruit 6,000, want to recruit 25,000. So we will use the database uh, to do a certain government work, including those that are going to get tenders from government. From now on, they have to take a substantial number of people from this database as well before they are awarded tenders in government. Yes, and Premier, the difficulty, I suppose, with government is that while we hold a government to account because of taxpayers' money keeping the machinery in play, uh, it is also sometimes unfairly criticized, purely because of the polarized nature of our society, number one. Two, uh, the scarcity of the resources. Now you're sitting with 1.4 million young people who've applied for the position, and you can only afford to absorb 8,000. There is bound to be frustration, resentment, even uh, uh, accusation or criticism of racial profiling, that only black uh, young people may have been absorbed. How do you respond to that? You are correct. You are correct. The old accusation, you do it, you are accused of not doing anything. You do something, you are accused of excluding other people. Uh, we, we, we are going to recruit according to uh, the demographics of our country. So everyone qualifies. We are going to use qualifications, we are going to use experience, and also we are going to use uh, previous uh, work that people have done uh, to shortlist so that we get the 8,000. And even the 8,000 is going to be transparent. Uh, we're inviting the media that all the selection or the screening or the shortlisting 
is going to be public. In a community hall, we're going to do uh, 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 the shortlisting. Even the interviews, they are open to society, to the media. To anyone can see it during the interviews so that people can see that we are transparent. We are not recruiting people on the basis of political affiliation or on the basis of uh, uh, favoritism. It's an open, transparent process uh, that people can see it even during the interviews uh, so that they can all agree that the best person has got that particular job. In but hindsight, yeah, I beg your pardon, Premier, just in hindsight, do you think it could have been done differently? Because, again, if you only advertising for 8,000 jobs and you know that the reality, over a million young people will come forward, that uh, perhaps, you know, the announcement should be made post the application and the appointment of these job seekers. No, but Cindy, you can't really advertise post and say, I've received 10,000 posts, I'm closing now, when the closing date has not reached. I think it will be reckless out of us. But also, these are public posts, so everyone is allowed to apply. Um, we indeed didn't expect that we'll get more than 1.4 million applications. Uh, we're looking around 30,000 or around 15,000 or so. But to receive 1.4 million, it's not, it's not a discouragement. It propels us to create job opportunities. Uh, and we want to do that. For example, we're creating a new rail between Limpopo and Johannesburg. Uh, we feel that the rail construction will also absorb a high number of people. Uh, we're building new 18 schools in Gauteng, so we believe it will. So we will take this database and, and, and dispatch it uh, where we're creating job opportunities. But we're also calling on the private sector. Uh, if you're going to have a, a jobs that you want people to come immediately. We are ready. We have got their CVs, their address, their contact numbers. You don't have to waste time advertising. You can come and tap into our database. So I'm meeting top uh, business uh, companies in Gauteng uh, so that they can also play a meaningful role on this matter. How sustainable is the program, Premier, as we uh, say goodbye to you? These are permanent jobs, so it's not it's not temporary jobs. These are permanent funded jobs, and uh, we are quite excited that we'll fill them. And we'll continue to create sustainable jobs so that our people can get jobs. We have to pump this economy of Gauti. And we are excited that we have started this. The business sector must join us so that they can also take a large number of people so that they can push the economy of Gauti. Check the last quarter from Stats that say we created 80,000. That's the highest by any province uh, in the last quarter report of Stats that say. So we are on the right course and we remain hopeful. We'll continue to create job opportunities for our people in Gauti. All right, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That's Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lesufi reacting to the applications received for Nasi Spani program for young people who came in the millions, 1.23 million to be precise, uh, to take advantage of this opportunity.